Hi, Julie Torrens here. How are you? Sorry, one of my lights isn't on. There we go. Got a whole basket of stuff here. And I recommend that you do this, that you get yourself, I, I call it a project basket, but get it together. And that way, as days go on that you can't work on it, as you do, you can just put things in one spot. It helps. Here's my cover. We're going to trim it up. I've got my pinking shears. Now, we did this together. I collaged on the front. I sewed kind of in a sort of a quilty kind of style around some of the elements in here. They're going to get covered. That's okay. Um, and then I had used two pieces of brown paper and in between is a bubble wrap, bubble folder, you know, a, an envelope, sh shipping envelope. So I'm going to trim this just as close to the edge as I can. And I just want the cover. When you're looking at it straight on, pretty much want the cover to show, not necessarily the white of that inside envelope, but I don't want to make it a great deal smaller. So I'm just trimming the edge to give it that wrinkled up look of pinking shears. Just kind of a zigzaggy pattern on there. So happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. I can't tell you what the date is. Around the 20th. Maybe the 21st. I'm not sure. Okay. I want to send some shout outs and some thank yous to Elizabeth, who sent me a happy mail package. It's beautiful. And also to Christine. Christine has been with me from the get-go, and I want to thank her for her fellowship and the beautiful happy mail that she sent me. Okay, we've got that trimmed up. I've got a few little stray uh, strings. We're just going to let leave that be. They're, they're all right. We can trim them up later. Now I'm going to try to fold this and make it even. So that when it's closed, both sides, now I've got just a little bit extra showing here, and I can see where I kind of missed the trimming. There we go. That's better. Okay. Looking good. Okay, our cover is ready for sewing. It goes this way. <laughs> All right, now... Going into the project basket. This is the basket that has the larger pieces. And I cut out, well, I didn't cut out. I took out the sheets that are, that I'm going to use to use as pages in my journal. So then I rounded all the corners. So this one doesn't belong. They're all double-sided, but there's something I forgot. Be right back. Okay, so what I forgot was I wanted to grab a piece of um, tracing paper to add to the journal, and I wanted three blanks. One of them I'm putting back in the project folder, and then these two I want to add some plain sheets. Um, I want to round the corners. I don't have my rounder. That's okay. I've got this. And it makes like a, oh, like a squared off corner. And that's fine. And I'm just going to square off. Whoops. Square these off. Oh, I'm out of breath because I was hurrying. I don't know why, because if it took me 10 minutes or if it took me one minute, it's all the same to you. <laughs> okay, 
So as I said, I rounded the corners of these sheets and I inked them up because my printer leaves a white margin and it always will, but I didn't want to give up the eight and a half by 11. So all these we're going to need to fold in half and it'll just kind of give you a way to see how I'm going to put these signatures. This It's a one signature. So I'm going to set this on one side because they're slippery. And I'm just going to grab my bone folder and start folding. Now is this? No. I was seeing if it was the very middle one. I may, I, well I know I don't have these in the order. And I'm just folding them and giving them a press. This one is going to be in the very middle of my journal. Now what you're seeing with the other side is a blank that I made. But Joey Cardmaker, which is where we got this, he provides also a blank sheet, you know, writing space to put on the other side of the ones that he did as well. So, so we can use those also, isn't that pretty? And I'm gonna fold some of them the opposite, not always having it the same direction. Sometimes I'm gonna put the writing space on the inside, sometimes I'm gonna put the writing space on the outside. You know, it adds variety to my journal. So how are you? How are you doing? What's on your crafting desk? Let me know in the comments. See, now this is the Joey card maker inside. What's on your desk? Are you working on this journal with me? Or maybe you picked out another kit, which is great. But I did this whole series because when I talked about, uh, when people were saying, you know, they've never made a journal, how do I get started? I recommend you start with a kit. Well, then questions came up. Where do I find these kits? If I find them, how do I buy them? And, and I get it. So I purchased from Etsy, Joey Cardmakers. It's called Celtic Spirit. I also went to his coffee, K-O-F-I, and he had a Celtic Spirit freebie. So I have both. If you don't have a printer, but you're interested, you can download the files. Okay, here's our blank sheets coming up now. You can download the file, and then you can take it to any place that does printing. And you can have that file right on your phone, and they'll just have you email it to them right then and there. And then you can go ahead and get them printed up. It's not that expensive. And maybe you have a friend who could print it up for you. Or maybe where you work, you're, you know, maybe they allow you to pay to use the printer. Don't just sneak and use it. It's kind of, well, it is, it's theft. So don't do that. Okay, here we go. Now, this is how many pages that I'm going to have. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find the one that has the very middle. And that's not it. It's here. Let's find the very middle. Nope. Yep. Okay, so this is going to be the middle. Here's where the ties will be. Now I want to find one that when you open the journal, that's what you see first. And I like these poppies. So I'm going to leave this to the side. And now I'm going to start putting together some of the others. So here we go. And the poppy is going to be first. And then I'm going to put this one, the gold. I like that. And I want to I want to just see what do I 
you know, what looks like upside down and what looks like right side up to me. And there's no right or wrong. Now I'm going to put a plain sheet in. And now I want to put, I'll put these flowers in. And then I think I'll put one that I've got done in reverse where the inside, that's fine. Love that. I mean, I love all the sheets. So, I, you know, it's not like I can make a big mistake. Let's put a, the blue one in. I don't like that blue up against that red, though. That's okay. Let's put this one in. And it's green. That's great. The blue can go with the green. I think that looks... I think this looks like this a little bit. That's fine. And let's put one again that's in reverse and see what's in the middle. The blue, good, that's fine. Now I'm going to put my piece of tracing paper in. And now this should be our middle. One of these is, this one, okay. So let's put this, it's a sun and a moon kind of thing. Okay, looking good. This one is last. Whoop, see, upside down. And now this. Now, Joey has these set up where you can make it so that, like, the poppy opens to the poppy and things like that. But they're so beautiful. I I'm not worried about that. All right, let's get the middle in and then we'll look at. We want to go now page by page. Now, can you see that this is sticking out like a waterfall? That's because the, the thicker your journal, it's pushing the pages out. And that's okay with me. Some people like to trim this off. I'm not trimming it for this journal. I've done that before. But I'm just going to leave it like it is because I don't want to cut off the white trim that I've... Um, inked up. Okay, now, here we go. I'm making sure now that I like the order. You drooped. Let me see where you are. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's bring you back. There, sorry. I guess I need to tighten some screws up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Poppy, good. This is fine. These are fine. More flowers. We've got our middle. We've got the red. I love it. The green. We've got the plain blue. Good writing space, decorating space. And here is our tracing paper. I like putting a piece of tracing paper in. I like the feel. I like the look. Now we've got that sun. To me, it looks like a sun. Beautiful vine. There's some more poppies. There's our center. So I know they're all right side up. And they're in an order that's fine. Okay, now I need to marry this to the cover. And I want it as best I can to have the same amount of space here as here. Okay, which I think we've got that good. I've got some clamps. The other thing I want to make sure is that this is seated in there as, as tight as I can make it with my hands. And let's put this on. And I've got very weak hands, so sorry. There. Good. Now I'm going to go to the opposite corner. Still pressing that in as tight as I can, grabbing another clip. And there. And now I'm going to do the others. Now you'll see people do these without clips. You'll see people do these just, and, and they've done hundreds more than I've done. I need this extra reassurance. 
that I've got things tight, that I've got things centered. And if I kind of flub up during the sewing process, I'm not going to move everything around. Okay, there is our put together journal. I do have a kit. You don't have to have a kit. I have got an awe. You can use a needle. You can use a thumbtack to, to make the holes. And then I'm going to pick out a thread that, <clears throat> pardon me, that I think will go. And the outside cover is basically blue. So let's use blue. And then I bought needles because the needles that came with were all curved. So I like a straight needle. Use what is comfortable in your hand. Now this thread is waxed, which makes it a little bit firmer and a little bit uh, easier to pull through holes. You use what you have. You can use um, plain sewing thread. If you use several strands, you can use embroidery floss. People use dental floss. Use what you have. I'm going to make it three times this width. One, two, three. And I'm error on too much. I know that there are people that don't even cut it and they just sew. I'm not that, I'm not that handy with my hands. We're gonna do what's called a three hole pamphlet stitch. I'm just threading my needle because it helps keep me from losing it. All right, now I don't have what they call book cradle. I'm just gonna put this here to protect my table. And when I make my holes, the first hole I want to do as best I can in the middle, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Then about an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom. Hopefully the top and the bottom will be about the same distance. But uh, you want this a little bit folded in. Don't do it perfectly flat. A little bit folded in and poke my hole as best I can in the middle. Poke it clear through and I give it a little extra so that the hole is a little bit bigger. Now about an inch from the bottom and again I, I want my book a little bit closed about an inch from the bottom and from this distance, about the same. Okay. Through, through, through. There we go. Okay. Grabbing my needle. If you want the bow or the knot on the inside, start at the inside. If you want it on the outside, start on the outside. Some people like it on the outside and then they add little charms and things. I'm gonna leave this bow on the inside. Pull it through. I'm gonna go through the top. Sometimes this, you know, takes a little bit, okay? I'm kind of lost, so I'm gonna go this way again. Now I'm back through, you know, and it's lined everything up. And now coming up, there we go. Keeping my tail, I'm gonna go all the way across to that bottom one. And then I'm gonna go up through the middle, but I'm gonna move this aside because I don't want to split my thread. If you split your thread, you can't tighten your book up and it just weakens the whole system. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna use my awe and I'm just gonna reestablish that hole. I didn't make a new one, I just reestablished it. And I believe I'm there. Let's see what's going on. Okay, can't 
See, I can't see through it anymore, so that's why I'm doing this. But like I said, I'm not making a new hole. Just relining it up, find my needle, go through and there. Be patient, be patient with yourself, be patient with the process. Took the needle off, setting it aside, tightening. Now I wanna check the back. See, these are still loose. Tighten. Now, check the back. They're tight. All right. You don't want it so tight that you're ripping the paper, but you don't want your journal slipping in and sliding in the cover. That's just irritating. Double knot and triple knot. Good. Now, make a bow. That's what I like to do. You do what works best for you. And I'm not going to cut the threads real short right now. Just in case for some reason I need to take it apart. Hope I don't. But now I am getting this needle put away because I will lose it just that fast. Put my awe away. Got the thread already away. And yay, let's look at our journal. Woohoo. When I get it sewed together, it just feels like I've made some progress. And now while I am still in a folding mood, I am going to fold this cover down because now it's been established. This is where you fold. See, it's very poppy opy. That's okay. Let it pop it open. Um, and I'm going to page through, and I am going to kind of press the pages. Really get them established in the book. That purple's pretty. Love this combo. Okay, well, if any were upside down, we'd know it. And some pages are more obvious upside down. Pretty much on this one, it's the some of the flowers and the, uh, like this one, and the very center. And there's our very center. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, what I like to do at this point, grab a clamp, and I'm clamping this puppy shut because I want it to learn. You need to be shut <laughs> like that. Now, what I'd like to do with you, I've got some of these smaller, and I grabbed some envelopes. I hope I threw them in here. Uh-oh. Where did I put the envelopes? We'll find them. Found them. I pulled out some window envelopes. And what I want to do with you is I want to make some ephemera specifically for this. Plus, there's some ephemera that it came with. And if we have time, I'd like to go over that. All right. This is a window envelope. But we're going to use it in a way that... I've never used an envelope before, a window envelope, and I think you're going to like it. Normally, we would take and glue this and, and decorate the inside, and that's great. But I want to do something different that I saw on Pinterest. But it was one of those really, really quick videos, and I tried to figure out who it was from. I couldn't. If it was you, then please let me know. I'm just cutting the edge. So now it's open this way. Hang on. See? And now I'm going to cut off this bottom. Yep. 
I'm really taking it apart. I don't know that I cut it all the way. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't. That's all right. Okay. This part I don't need right now. I'm just saving the window. Now, in our kit, there are these affirmation cards, and they all have a frame. And I didn't use them all, so I saved off some frames. And I just want to frame off this window instead of, like, covering the whole thing. So, now, this also has rounded edges. We're going to square that off because it's just too hard for me anyway to try and do that. If we have time to make two, we'll make two, but I would like to make one and then you can make more later. I'm just bringing this uh, glue paper so that I'm gonna be gluing on top. All right, I'm grabbing a piece of this frame and I am not worried about getting all the white. We're going to trim it up. So this is fine. Let's get our glue stick and start a gluing. Oh boy. This glue glues itself shut. I'm telling you. Wow. Okay. Get some glue on here. And gluing the frame, going inside the clear part enough that I'm gonna wrap, I'm not, I'm gonna square off those round edges. All right, now I'm gonna look for one like this, which is like this, I think, close enough. Nah, it's too long. I've, I've got some shorter ones, I'm sure. These all look long. How did I pick the one short one? There, I have more in here. Is this a short one? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Let's use that. Gluing it up. And again, use what you have. Use what you've got in your kit that will work for this. Okay, now I don't know if some of these longer ones, yes, it will. It'll do the whole thing, yay. I missed. There we go. Good. Nice. Okay. Another long one like that. Long enough. Let's put that on. I think my glue, it is, it's just about gone. It's okay. I've got more. Okay. Nice. Is it straight? I think so. Okay, now I'm just going to trim this up right along the edge of that frame. Concentrating, huh? Are you getting what I'm doing? Now the video that I saw, she didn't do it like this. She did it with paints and stuff, but you know, make it your own. Okay, now I just think that these pages are so pretty that we can go ahead 
and show them off. So, all right, let's just start with this one. So if I glue this here, if there's nothing in it, then we still see the background. But this kit came with so many beautiful pieces that we'll be using. I'm just reaching in here, grabbing a couple tags that came with the kit, and look. So they can show through when this is glued down. Either way, I think it's beautiful. So I think this is a great way to add some ephemera that is with this journal. Now you could even, you could even glue it to a plain sheet. So I'm not saying that it has to go and it's still, it's pretty. And many of our envelopes are coming with such big windows. So isn't that great? Okay, I have another one, but I want to work on some other things. And if we have time, we'll do the other one. All right. Thank you, journal. I'm snapping you back together. And let's work on some other things that came with the kit that I want to I want to show you because again, I'm I'm talking to the people that have never used a kit before and maybe never made a journal before. Okay, one of the things the kit came with was this envelope. Now I'm going to show you something that I think makes putting these kinds of things together just a little bit easier. If you have one of these folding, or it's like a um, scoring board. You can line this up and line up where you want your folds. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Now go gentle because this is just this is just paper. But you can make nice folds this way. And you're not struggling to try to get these things straight. See, I've got the straight edge at the top and I'm just, whoops, I'm just going along gentle along these folds. And I just think it makes, whoops, that's not right. Try again. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Okay, we went all the way around. Now, I think by doing that, you're going to find it so much easier. And I make the creases with my image up. And then when I fold it over, then they're the right way to make a fold. And it just is so much easier. So that's my recommendation when it comes to making these envelopes that come with the kit. All right, now, I prefer art glitter glue on these. Use what you have. It, this feels like it's not open, even though I had the pin in it. Let's just give it a little, a little encouragement and there's our glue good and good okay nice what I don't want to do is to glue my envelope shut now I put too much glue on. That's typical me. That's why I have a paper towel. And I'm just gonna give that a quick wipe. And now I'm just gonna press down these edges. Nice. And I'm gonna fold this where I put my, where I put my fold. I'm gonna see.
And this is our envelope to go inside of our journal. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's how I like to do these things. And there's pockets that way. There's other items. I'm gonna put that in one of my baskets. This same thing. Now, you could take this, this triple tag and you could just cut it and, and that's fine. Then you have three beautiful tags. I did put a back on it so that it would be um, ready for writing on. But I am going to put this again on my scoreboard because I really want to fold this as straight as humanly possible. So, now this one I did with cardstock. I'm turning it around just because it, I'm right-handed. And I want to line up. Nice straight folds. Okay. Now, if you don't have a scoreboard, I got mine on a sale of the sale because the packaging was destroyed, but the board was fine. What you can do is get a ruler, get on a soft surface, like this is a piece of cardboard. You can just go ahead, get a straight edge, make it as straight as you, as you can. And I think the bottom of a brush, it's you know rounded and you can just do it this way. That's a good way to also do this. You don't have to have necessarily a scoreboard. They are handy. I use mine often. Now I'm going to fold these in. Now, this is a little tight. That's normal. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to take it to my cutter and I'm just going to take an edge off of each one so that it's willing to fold. But putting those fold marks in then on the design, it's right. So I would rather cut this outside edge off. Do you see what I mean? So there, ready for the ephemera. So we've got that envelope, we've got the other. Now I made these, remember? Okay, now if you also remember, I don't have my corner rounder, but that's fine. This works great. I'm just gonna square off these corners. And I don't know if you can see, but just the wear and tear of storing these, they have not been used. The corners are already kind of showing sign of wear. That's why I like to cut the corners off. Now, one of these, I think I'm just gonna leave alone and have it be a writing space, a bookmark that's gonna go into one of the pockets. So I'm gonna put one aside. Then I'm gonna take one and I wanna turn it into a belly band. So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna need my Fabri-Tac. So I'm just setting it down and I'm gonna need some lace. Got the lace kit. And I'm just gonna put this on my lap. I know you can't see it, but I'm gonna take off of the top the things like ribbon and things that I don't want. I'm going down to the lace, and I've got this lace that has some pearls on it. That might be nice. I've got this trim, but it's peach, and there's really not peach in there. Ooh, I've got this trim that's got green. Let's, let's see if we can do that. I've got another one that's yellow and green. Let's see if, if one won't fit, maybe the other will. Let's just, let's just experiment and see. Green is my first choice, so I'm going to open this one up first, I think. Sorry about the crinkle. I know it's louder to you than it is to me. I've been on your side of the video. Okay, do we have enough for two sides? We do. All right, let's trim this up. Isn't that pretty? And I think it goes with our Celtic theme, don't you? All right, I think I'm gonna trim this edge and see if it makes sense. Yeah, see, I can, I, I'm not gonna be cutting 
in the middle of a flower. So I'm going to cut it right here in the middle of a big flower, I guess I should say. And then I'm just going to trim this slightly. All right. And now I'm just going to take the other piece and make it similar. And good. I'm going to cut it right here. All right. Now, Fabri-Tac. I've heard so much advice about Fabri-Tac because it isn't easy to use, and especially for folks like me with weak hands, but we're using it today. So it, it takes a minute, I know. Doesn't make for good video when you're playing with a squeeze bottle, but that's just the way it goes. Okay, here it comes. I'm just putting it right along this white edge. All right, laying it back down. I've got my lace facing the right way. Why is that so long? What did I do? Oh well, oh well. They're both kind of that way. There. Oh, I love that. I love that, don't you? All right, let's put the other side on. And this is going to be our belly band. Now, we did these together in a beginner watercolor because I wanted some things in this journal that I made. You know, personal touch and all. All right. Not sure how I trimmed it up so, so extra, but that's all right. That's all right. Don't, don't let those things shake you. It's not worth it. All right, I've got a little bit of Fabri-Tac on here and I'm just gonna rub it up there. I love this belly band. Let's, we may need Fabri-Tac again, so I'm going to lay it down. And I'm grabbing the journal. And let's just see what this will look like on a page. Like one of those plain pages. Like this. Look. Look, what do you think? Now, grabbing, hang on. I was gonna grab that envelope. I'm not sure where I put it, but something big that can go in here. That'll be so nice. Okay, so we've got ourselves a belly band and I think it's beautiful and I think it goes with the whole Celtic vibe, don't you? All right. Setting that down. So we've made an envelope. We've made a belly band. Or we made a pocket. Clip you back. Now, we made these back a while ago. And all this is, it's two pieces of cardstock cut to the same size and glued together. That's it. But I only glued around the edge, so this middle is not glued. Now, after I glued this together, it didn't quite match up, so I'm just trimming off the part that didn't quite match up. It's fine. There we go. Now, oh, I still see some. Oh, there we go, okay. Now, I, do, I don't have my trimmer right here, or I would just trim this one, two, three, go, but I've got rulers. So, I'm gonna grab a ruler, and 
I can use the little guidelines on it to help me make it straight, I think. Yes, I'm, I am, I'm lining it up. Okay, now I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm gonna make a mark. And I'm gonna cut it with my scissors. Okay, not perfectly straight, but straight enough. Can you see now? This made a pouch and this made a pouch. And so what we can do is, let's go in here. We have got oodles and boodles of stuff like this. This is one of the uh, affirmation cards that I wasn't nuts about the sentiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck this in here. Now it might be a little big for this, but that's okay. Let's just see where we get. I'm going to I'm going to stop it at the edge of that trim. And then I'm going to see how does it make sense this way? How, you know, like how big are we? Okay, so do you see how we're way we're way too big, but that's all right. I am going to Line this up the way I like it. Okay. I think that's pretty straight. Get my art glitter glue. Oh boy. I unstraightened it. <laughs> I'd like the moon to show. Okay. And I'm just squeezing some art glitter glue in there. Did I get some glue in there? I don't know. Now I can see the glue. Okay. And I'm just gonna make sure it's straight. All right. Ooh, some of the glue came out. That's all right. Wipe it off. Good. If you end up with like a little glue residue, like I did, grab yourself before the glue really, really sets. Grab yourself a wet wipe of whatever description you have and just give it a real gentle and it comes all, comes right off. If you wait though, till it's totally dry, it won't budge. Okay, I am going to see now where do I need to cut this? And we're just cutting those rocks off. I don't have a problem with that. I'm gonna make a mark here, but I know I have to go even deeper, even deeper. I'm gonna do it about right there. And then it's writing space on this side. And this goes in here. Come along, come along my friend, there we go. This goes in here, just like that. And it's a little hidden writing space. Now let's decorate this up a little bit. And I have, oh there's that envelope. I have some little, besides all these frames, I've got some little things that came with the kit like these aren't these cute but I realized they don't really show up that's okay let's put the rest back for right now I'm gonna grab a sentiment doesn't matter what does that say peacefulness that's fine <laughs> I say it doesn't matter but then I'm double checking <laughs> that's me Okay, so what does Julie like? She likes book page. I'm going to grab some book page of one of the most boxed up books that I have, which is an old dictionary. Okay, I'd like it to be 
a little bit straightish. First, I'm going to take off that raw edge. And I don't want that picture, but this side doesn't have a picture. And I don't care if the words are going the wrong way. It's fine with me. I just would like it kind of straight. I love it. All right, take it off there. Take it off here. Good. Get some glue. I am not going to ink it up. I don't think it needs inking up. Oh, there. Goodness. Goodness. Okay. We're getting a lot done, friends. Nice. All right. Now, I did these on cardstock because there were tags and other things on there. So I'm going to use Art Glitter Glue because I just feel like I'm asking too much of glue stick. I'm going to start with a middle one. That looks good. It looks in the middle to me, kind of. Uh, it's good enough. We have a beautiful sunny day today. Beautiful. Very, very happy. Okay. It's off. Can you see? I don't care. It's fine. It is fine. Don't sweat the small stuff. I'm going to put that on. I like it. it again, it's cardstock. And these elements and this came with the kit. Pretty good. Okay, now I've got some butterflies that I've made and I want to just pick a butterfly that, like this one, goes with the colors and it's just going to add another little Julie touch to this. Little glue, little butterfly, and grab a pen. Add some antenna. And there. Now, here's our little hidden it's a little hidden pocket now once we find where this is going to exactly go in the journal we may want to decorate it up some more and that's fine there we go match it up nice okay let's put that in the bucket okay now let's see in the bucket. Now, I know we don't have any, um, I know we don't have any pockets or things in the small one, in the small bucket. But let's see, I think I've got in here some smaller little pockets. I'm going to grab one of these. It's one of the affirmation cards. Yes. See, we've got this little pocket. And I found another one. Okay. That's good. Okay, affirmation card. 
Now, these are going to be a trick to fold. I don't care how carefully you cut them out. I don't care how carefully you printed them. It's rare that they want to match up. But I just folded it in half. I'm going to get my bone folder, give it a good fold. And now this is kind of like a tag. It's, it's, a, it's a place where you can do some, it's like a journaling card. Yeah, like a journaling card. Now, I am going to get some glue. I am not worried about making this solid glue stick. I'm giving it some glue stick and going around the edge. The edge means more to me than the middle. Okay. Press it down nice. Now I've got a little bit of white showing up here. Two things I could do. Trim it, nothing wrong with that. Ink it. And I think that's the way I'm going to go. But I'm going to let this dry. Because can you see it's rimply? It'll flatten out once it's dry. But that's how you deal with these double. And you just fold them in half. And then glue them up. It makes them nice and substantial and they can go in a pocket, okay? So that's how you deal with that, with these. Now, they already put a hole in. Joey already put a hole in. So I'm just going to line up and I'm going to punch that hole. Nice. Nice. And now I printed them on cardstock and I printed them um, with on the back with his with what he provided so that you can have writing space on the back of your of your work. All right. So on this back, which I think it's pretty, but again, I want to add a little something that makes it look like Julie. So. Let's look at the fronts first. See, like he has a big dark space right there. I think that would be fine for a little Julie butterfly. Or look, this is a butterfly with a flower. I think that would look better for her. Let's put that with her and now with him. Maybe it looks too big compared to him. Unless Now, if I put it down here, then it looks like it's close to us. So let's do that. I'm just personalizing it. And I think it makes a difference. And I think it makes a positive difference. I like the way it brightens up the bottom like that. All right, and him. I like that. Nice. Now, I'm not going to worry about putting... Well, I could try. I was going to say about putting some... Um, antenna on this butterfly because it's all so dark but you know what people look close put them on Julie don't be lazy all right same with this one there I don't know if you can see them probably not but as I say people do look close and then we're going to when we start filling our book We'll decide, do we want to put some string? Do we want to put some ribbon? Do we want to put some lace? We'll figure it out. But that's how I like to personalize the cards a little bit. And I'll be doing that to other cards too. All right, put those in the box. These are tiny, tiny, tiny. I think it will be easier to fold these 
if we score them up. Let's do it this way. You don't have to have a scoreboard. So I'm going to find a brush that has a little bit more of a pointy bottom. I don't want to take too long to find it. So if it takes too long, I'm going to grab my bone folder. But you can use a brush, but I would, I've got so many brushes. One of them would work, but I'm not going to fuss with it. But I'm just taking a, my bone folder and giving this a score. I did um, print this on cardstock. Not, not, it's not just paper, but either way is fine. And now I can fold this. I am not going to put any glue on this because the glue is going to go on the book. But that's how I deal with these little envelopes. Oh, see how cute. Won't that be cute? All right, in the box. And let's do this one. All right, I hope you are enjoying doing this journal really as a beginner. Because that's what I'm doing. I know for some of you, probably many of you, this is very rudimentary. But if you've never done a journal, if you've never bought a kit, if you don't know what to do with all these pieces, it is daunting. I was there not that long ago, like just months ago. So let's give everyone a chance. And now I've got these two little pockets. We've got our journal together. We've made a belly band. We've made an, an, a really cool pocket. We've made a hidden space. We got a lot done. Yes, we did. All right. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Thumbs up. It helps my channel. If you haven't subscribed, 70% of you haven't. Please go ahead and subscribe. Today's a great day. And we're going to get together again soon and work on this journal. Right down here, there's a video picked out just for you. And I'll see you over there.